train car with a mass of 9,750 kilograms moves 3.40 meters per second before colliding with and linking to a second train car. The joined train cars move together with a speed of 1.22 meters per second. What is the mass of the second train car? Welcome to Hovercraft Physics and Chemistry for a sample momentum problem. In this problem, we know the velocities of the objects before and after the collision, and we're solving for an unknown mass. The action in this problem mirrors what you saw in the short video clip preceding this question, where the two cards stick together and move together with the same speed. Let's first set up a table to organize our information. I'll make a column for what's going on before the collision and after the collision. And I'd like to keep track of car 1, car 2, and the total. Remember the formula for momentum is mass times velocity. Before the collision, we have a train car with a mass of 9,750 kilograms. Moving 3.40 meters per second. We multiply those two numbers together to get the momentum. That value is 33,150 kilogram meters per second. I'm not going to do any rounding until the last step. Let me also add a couple of lines to keep track of my information. For the second car, we have zero momentum. It's not moving at all. So our total momentum before the collision is all in car one. I'll rewrite that value down here. After the collision, both cars are moving together with a speed of 1.22 meters per second. So again, we can easily calculate the momentum of car one by multiplying the mass times the velocity. The new velocity is 1.22 meters per second. That value is 11,895 kilogram meters per second. We don't know the mass of car 2, so I'm going to leave that as a variable. I'm just going to call it m subscript 2. Since the cars are linked together, they're moving the same speed. When I total up my after column, I know the momentum of car 1. That was the 11,895 kilogram meters per second. In addition to that, I have mass 2 moving at 1.22 meters per second. And the key here is we're going to assume momentum is conserved. So the total momentum before the collision and the total momentum after the collision should be equal. Let me give myself a little bit more space. So I'm looking to solve for m2. My first step would be to subtract 11,895 kilogram meters per second from both sides of the equation. That's going to make this part of the equation go to zero, and I'm left with 21,255 kilogram meters per second. That will equal the unknown mass, m2, times 1.22 meters per second. So to solve for m2, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.22 meters per second. That'll cancel on the right hand side. And then all I need to do to solve for m2 is divide 21,255 kilogram meters per second by 1.22 meters per second. Notice that the meters per second unit will cancel and my answer will come out in kilograms. And when we would divide 21,255 kilogram meters per second by 1.22 meters per second, we find that m2 is 17,000. 422 kilograms. If I want to worry about significant figures, I should round that to three significant figures. 
so we could report the answer as 17,400 kilograms for the mass of CART-2. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'd also appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. There'll be a link for that in a moment. Thanks for watching.